Hello Collective. Let's take a look and see what's going on. Give me a message. Give me a message that my collective needs to know at the moment. Give me a message, Spirit. What does my collective need to know? Six of Cups. And the star. Okay. The two of swords. The broom. The broom in this deck is the death card. So this is transformation. This is on, on this card they have it as tidying up your life making space for something better and we have the king of swords okay at the bottom of the deck we have the justice card okay collective you you've been trying to find balance but i feel like there's someone coming in from the past someone that you may not be aware of someone that's been gone for a while but i feel like this is someone that has been doing a lot of healing someone who has finally made a decision so this is someone who maybe moved out of your energy that hadn't really made a decision we have the eight of wands so this is definitely someone from the past but someone from the past who really wants to communicate and i feel like They've taken a lot of time out. This person may have went through a lot of changes. And they've come to a true a understanding of the situation. And I feel like they... Oh, wow. This is a lot of cards. Okay. I, I feel like they're coming with change. We have the Magician. We have the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Strength card. We have the Nine of Cups. And we have the Five of Wands. Okay. I get it. Okay, this person is coming back around. But they're coming more prepared. I feel like this person, in the past, maybe they had taken their time. But maybe they, they took too long. Especially with this knight of pentacles energy he's at a standstill he's not really moving he's just stagnant and he's he's he feels like he's stable but he's not going anywhere and this person i i feel like they took their time so much that they just started to stand still and that may have caused your situation to end when and when it ended i feel like this person finally came to a realization which is crazy because why does it take an ending for someone to realize what they want but i feel like this person sees an attraction a it's I'm, I'm not going to lie. It's a very lustful energy. But it also comes with confidence. And, you know, feeling like they can take on the world. Right? And I feel like this person is coming out of being stagnant and ready to face the world. Ready to face you. Ready to make things right. I, I feel like this person had went through a transformation. They had went through this realization that they took too long. Maybe they, you know, felt conflicted about their decision so much. Because we have the King of Swords and the Five of Wands. That's, you know, caught in your head. That's very confusing energy. You know, someone who is a huge overthinker and is conflicted with their decisions. And, and I feel like this person went through an inside battle. 
if you will, to what they should have did and what they did do. And I feel like that's the reason why they're coming back around. But they're coming back around very fast. I don't know how much time has passed, but this person, oh wow, okay. <laughs> we have the Ace of Cups and the Hierophant. Okay, so this person is going to bring you a commitment. This person is committed to making things right with you. I feel like this person has a love for you that hasn't hasn't faded it hasn't went anywhere and this person was conflicted for a very long time but I feel like they were fighting their feelings they were fighting how they felt until they lost you when they lost you all of those feelings started rushing in look how the water is just pouring out of that cup and the hierophant here so definitely this person has learned some kind of lesson you know they have learned that love conquers all that's what i'm getting love conquers all we have the nine of wands at the bottom so i feel like you may have built some walls around this person we also have the seven of cups so i i feel like you've built some walls when it comes to this person and i feel like they have also left you confused that seven of cups could also mean that you have a lot more options available to you at the moment and you may need to set your boundaries with this person make them work for it right if this is someone that you want to have back in your energy i feel like this is someone who's going to have to work for it. This is someone who's going to have to show you better than tell you. Right? And we have the five of cups. So this is definitely something that you had moved away from or you thought was completely over. You thought you wasn't going to see this anymore. Um... We have the death card again. I feel like you've went through changes. This person has went through changes as well. You may have both been dating other people, seeing what was out there. Um, but I feel in the back of their mind, in the back of their mind, they always had intentions on coming back. And i feel like in a way you were kind of waiting for the situation to return as well but i feel like their intentions were clear they always wanted to come back they were waiting for the the right moment and whatever changes this person has made or whatever changes they've been through has put them in to a better headspace. Yeah, the Empress. Okay. Huh. Yeah, this person sees you as an Empress. This person has the highest regard for you. They also see you as very strong and very nurturing, right? Like you can get whatever you put your mind to. I, f I think they feel a little bit of, about that themselves too. We have the Eight of Pentacles and the Chariot. Okay. Oh, <laughs> wow. Look at what's at the bottom. <laughs> So this person feels like in order to get you back, in order to get you back into their life, we have the Six of Swords. In order to get you back into their life, <clears throat> they're going to have to work. 
And what did I say? I believe I said that they're going to have to earn your love. They're going to have to put the work in. And I feel like that's exactly what this person is going to do. This person is going to put the work in because they know that they made a wrong choice. They know that they took too much time. They know that you are in a place in your life with that Empress card there. They know that you are in a place in your life where you're looking for stability. And this person wants to give you that love and commitment that you're looking for. So this is very interesting energy. Beautiful energy. Okay. Let's go ahead and get some moonology cards i also might try to get a different oracle too your dreams need a practical plan yeah and i feel like they're putting a plan together they're kind of they've kind of been planning this out for a very long time on how they're going to do it what they're going to say how they're going to go about it when they come come back Look at this. A new romantic cycle begins. Definitely. So I feel like at the bottom we have an end of a tough cycle of approaches. So I definitely feel like this person has been making plans to come back for a very long time. But they were waiting for the most opportune moment. Um, and I feel like you my beautiful collective i feel like you're going to accept their offer because you got this new romantic cycle begins and you also had what was that the end of a tough cycle approaches so i feel like maybe you had a hard time with this breakup or it took you a lot of time to heal from a breakup before you wanted to open your heart again Give me some more advice. Give me some advice from the angels, please. Give me some advice from the angels. Okay. We have higher learning. You have learned from experience. More inner study is now required to further progress. So I feel like this person has learned a lesson. Definitely. They have learned a lesson. And for you, we have increased awareness, deep connection, trust your inner voice. Okay, so the angels are telling you to trust your intuition in the situation. Um, but that they know it's a deep connection. Hmm. Give me one more. We have Shekinah, Sacred Self. Unleash your spirit, express your gifts, and dance to the sacred rhythm of life. So definitely, look how her forehead is, is lighting up with that crescent moon and the dove. Um, definitely, listen to your intuition. We also have charity, prayer, and contemplation. Connect with heaven and ask and you shall receive. So, and I think, I think you should take this to your angels. Take this to God. And ask if this is truly the person that you're meant to be with. Because I feel like this person is coming in. Um, but you need to ask your higher power. Ask your higher power for guidance. Don't just listen to tarot cards. Um... <laughs> but it's definitely a beautiful reading. Definitely. Transcendence. Rise up and honor your inner force. Steps are being given. Dance with the universe. Definitely. And we have the third eye again. So definitely. Your intuition is going to play a great part. In your decision making when it comes to this person. So listen to your intuition. Listen to your gut. And follow your heart. Okay. That's what I have for you collective. 
So if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. And many blessings to you. Love and light.